from the back, 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 from the back,
So let's start with um, the black detailing. So I will say this car is really unique because it comes with the black mirrors. It also comes with the black, I guess, antenna, shark tail, whatever you want to call it. And it has a black spoiler lip. So I think that's what sets this car apart because I have seen regular red Honda Accord Sports and they honestly don't have that little black detailing. And I also forgot to mention that I did get the showroom. Oh, let me stand this way. I did forget to mention that I got the showroom car. So let me get inside the car. I'll give you guys some more details about it. So let's go ahead and get in. Oh, she's locked. One second. Look, I like my bitch, red bone, ice fat, cello, light skin, yellow, iced out, hello, I'm the king of New York, mellow, black hair by the reason some pillow, ice around nigga. Cutting off my head. Okay, well you guys know I'm not bald, right? So anyway, how I ended up with this car, so I was kind of going off on a tangent, lost my thought process, but I brought it back. So, how I ended up with this car, I decided that I did not like the 2021, 2022 Honda um, Civics anymore because they completely changed the body style and they completely changed the interior. But I did love the Accord, so I had my mind set and I wrote in my journal, I said I want a 2022 black Honda Accord Sport 2.0T. That's exactly what I wrote in my journal. And two weeks later, I walked off the lot with this baby. So I do wanna say I did have the intention and I went into the dealership thinking I wanted an all black car because if I'm gonna be honest with you, all my previous vehicles were kind of influenced by people. My very first car, the Honda Civic, that was out of my hands. It was just given to me. Um, get out, who are you? Uh, go away, thank you. Um, yeah, so that was that. Uh, again, the Jeep Wrangler was already bought. I just ended up driving it, so I couldn't choose the color. But, okay, relax. Relax. The wind is blowing, and yeah. Um, with the Honda Civic, um, my color choices were white, blue, or red. And I went with white. Uh, my dad felt like I didn't need a black car. He felt like black was too dark. People may not be able to see me, but in reality, I don't want to be seen. But anyway, so this time around, I told my dad, I said, I want a black car, period. Nobody's gonna stop me. It's my choice, my choice only. So he's like, okay, okay, okay. When I got to the dealership, they only had three. White, black, or red. So I went with the black and I thought it was cool. So we went downstairs. Um, to the sales department and we were you know drafting everything up running the numbers talking numbers talking business whatever and the guy comes to me and he says oh well while i was running all the information for the black accord it sold and i said ah, that quickly like what so then me and my dad we were like okay we really have to get serious because they had um a lower trim model accord in white and i said "Ugh, no so then um, we decided, we actually ended up sitting in this very car. Um, it was a showroom car, like I said. It was in the showroom, freshly waxed, brand new. They had just put tints on it and everything. And we were sitting in it just to have a conversation because me and him wanted to have a private talk about what we were going to do moving forward. And he basically said like, this is the only car left. If you don't want the lower trim model, this is the only car left. And let me tell you why I didn't want red. I didn't want red because red cars are cop magnets. Like they see a beautiful red shiny car and automatically they want to think, pull me over. And I'm gonna be real with you. I drive the speed limit when I need to. But in reality, you know, I'll, I'll be closing. You know, I'm from Broward County, Florida. So we, we drive fast down there, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. And the cops really don't be caring in Broward. But the cops here in North Carolina, baby. They will pull a bitch over. And I have. So anyway, me and me and Beauty, me and Red, we already done ran into some trouble. Like I said, that's why I didn't want red. But you know what? I'm gonna be real. Red is honestly my favorite color. And I'm super grateful that I ended up with this red because I got so many compliments on this car color alone. Like the color is 
phenomenal. She's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful red, and I love her. So let's head into the inside. You guys can see this is the steering column. So you got everything you need, home, volume, go back, call, end call, voice audio, lane assist, wheel assist, all of these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. So obviously, you know, we're in 2022, so everything is pushed to start, baby. And that is my start button right there. So I'm gonna turn off the AC so you guys don't hear it. But um, so this is what the car looks like when it turns on. So let me close the door so y'all can get the full picture. So fast and seatbelt, but we're not. So this symbol is gonna come up every time you turn on the car. That's just basically letting you know who has their seatbelt on in the car, um, mainly in the back seat. So if you are riding and your passengers do not have their seatbelt on, it will look like this. But as soon as their seatbelts are on, it will let you know. So then it shows I have 52 miles left because I need to go get some gas. Um, the average fuel on this car is absolutely phenomenal. And being in North Carolina, I do drive a lot. So I'm just super grateful that this car gets great, mi like great mileage. So normally I average about five or not 500, but like 420 miles every time I fill up. So as you guys can see, I have 12,919 miles on the car and it always shows you the speed limit. Now that's honestly incorrect. The speed limit over here is not 70. And I have my lucky feather. Um, right when I was getting into spirituality, I found this feather on the, on the ground. It's a bird feather and I've had it in my car ever since with this chain my uncle gave me when I was a kid. So this is my infotainment center. Um, so this is my home, obviously back night mode so you can turn the screen off which okay well it's not turning off but anyway you can um your audio controls back and forward honestly i don't really use many of these buttons clock it'll look like that audio source so basically everything that you can do on the touch screen itself you can also do on the phone. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna plug up my phone. So yeah, these are all my um, AC, which I'm actually getting quite hot. So we're gonna have to turn that on. I do have the sink, so it sinks. If you want that off, you just turn that off and then mine can be hot, theirs can be cold, whatever. So this is where I store my charger. So we're just gonna plug that in here and then Apple CarPlay will come up. So I was listening to Drake's new album. Y'all let me know what y'all think. So this is how it looks like. We've got maps, which I'm not gonna click on. You got phone log, um, music, as you guys see that I'm on. And what I do love, it's really Apple CarPlay. So like you can do all of this. You can go back, you can go to your library, recently added playlists like songs and this is my actual like this is all the music i listen to which i think is great um so you have all of that at the touch of a button glove compartment which you know has um napkins extra forks straws that kind of oh wait i never noticed this button what is that it says main on off main I don't want to press it because I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to read my manual before I start touching stuff. I do love the fact that everything in here is black. Black on black on black on black. Let me also mention my last car was white on the outside and it had tan interior and it was cloth. When I tell y'all, kids, actually, I'm going to rewind that. Adults are no better than kids because people would spill stuff in my seat just random dirt just ends up on the seat. And I'm like, what the hell? I even spilled stuff in the seat, water, like it just stained those tan seats and I had to pay $20 a seat to clean it. So I said, no, 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 no. We're doing black interior because I can keep that clean. And in reality, I don't like other people in the car anyway. Like I'm not really a big person that drives with other people. So anyway, like I said, ooh, no lighting. She is a sedan honey she is a big mama like beauty is a big girl like this is a big car and 
it's but it don't feel huge though that's the difference it doesn't feel like i'm driving a boat it feels like i'm driving a real luxury sedan um if you do if you guys want to talk numbers i believe this car was about 30 31 000. um and like i said i am leasing it which means i don't pay the full price unless at the end um i will get a buyout amount which means they will give me the remainder of the car and then i can finance the rest and if you guys don't know what finance means it just means they split the payment the remaining balance of the car up into payments um that you can hopefully afford because you know you got to be doing some finagling but i will just say though do not walk into a dealership and pay what they're telling you to pay so if they're telling you the car costs forty five thousand. it probably you probably could get it for 40 and they're telling you that your payments are going to be 500 you probably can get it down at three something and that's what we did we did not walk off that lot until the payment was reasonable my payment is under $400 a month and um, yeah, I think that's important for over $30,000 car payments under 400 because we was not walking off that lot. And let me just, let me just tell you one other thing really quick. This is how I know when you have good vibes, good things happen to you. And I'm gonna I'm I'm just repeat that one more time. When you have good energy, you do good and you are good, good things happen to you, right? I really was not expecting to walk away with this brand new car, but when I went into, so first of all, the sales, car salesman, my dad agreed. He said, listen, if we can get the car for this price, oh my, I'm sorry, like I'm all over the place because so much happened and this was honestly a year ago, but we put zero dollars down, zero dollars down. We traded in the 2018 Honda Civic and they tried to tell me that the car was only worth maybe 16, 17, $18,000. And my dad said, no, this car is worth way more than that. So we want you to put more equity into the car. So that's what he did. We put more money into the car. We told him, nope, you can have this car back, but it's gotta, you gotta up the price. So then we also received a, I think $1,500 check or $2,000 check sent to us. So let's recap. I traded in my, my 2018 Honda Civic, no money down. We got a $2,000 check. And on top of that, because I had just recently graduated, um, they were doing, Honda and a few other dealerships were doing something where you could get $500 off the car if you show them your diploma. So you know what I did? I showed them my diploma. So it was good for something, um, kidding. Anyway, um, so yeah, I showed them that. So I got an additional $500 off. And then in order to get the payments under $400, it took a lot of finagling. And the guy was like, you know what? There is a once in a blue moon chance that I will do something nice for a customer, but y'all are gonna be that customer. I'm going to make sure that you can walk away with this car at a discount. You're not gonna pay full price for the car. You're gonna pay whatever you can afford to pay. And that's just that on that. We're gonna type whatever we need to type say whatever we need to say to make sure that y'all can walk away with this car and i have never had a salesman basically blatantly say that they were gonna make sure that i walk away with this car even if we didn't have the down payment even if we did want even if we did have it and we didn't want to put it down he was like no problem that's good energy and he said he really likes me and i think he said his daughter went to my school too my university or something or another or somebody he knows works there or i don't know but it pays to be a good person and yeah so right here i have my uh cigarette lighter uh usb one usb two and you guys and this is a nice cool convenient pocket that's where i put my phone you guys may be wondering what this is and it's a crystal so yes, this is a crystal. It's called a shungite plate. So it actually absorbs electromagnetic radiation from the car, from phones and everything like that. And I also carry a switchblade with me because, because you never know when you might need to cut somebody or cut something or cut a box, whatever. But I always keep that here at arm's length because if anybody tries to get in my car, slice, 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 you're dead. So last but not least, I keep an amethyst crystal. It's really good for protection and just like spiritually and physically because obviously I do not ever want to be in an accident of any kind. So I ask my crystal to protect me from all accidents, all 
nicks, dings, scratches, bumps, whatever. So yep, then we have my uh, sunglass holder here. So like I said, this car does not come with a sunroof. So all I have here is my lights. And that is it. And another light. I always keep it off because I do not want that light to be shining every time I get in the car at nighttime. This is my back seat. Like I said, uh, nobody's ever in it. The most, see that white stain is from water spilling. So imagine if this was in a tan interior. I have nothing in the back seat because I keep my car extra clean. This is just where I keep my umbrella, some perfumes, extra paperwork. Here's my bag. So this is my gear shift. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake, obviously reverse, neutral, drive. And I don't have a sport mode because the car has, or I don't have a sport mode here because the sport is the button. So if you're ever needing it, and let me just tell you with my Honda Civic, it had a sport mode, but it was in the um, gear shift. So if you're on the highway already, you can't brake on the highway, come to a complete stop and then shift it into sport. Um, but I love that this car, you could just hit sport and actually I'll show you guys what happens when you hit sport. So it turns red on the side and it tells you that it's on. So I love that for me. And honestly, this car gets about 252 horsepower, um, over 200 pound feet of torque. Um, I know for some people that may be like, what? But other than that, the car is actually really fast. It picks up really, really well. I love her for that. Um, it also has an econ mode. So I'll go ahead and press that for you. So basically that's just saving gas. Um, and it also has auto stop. So for example, let's go on a quick drive. And I come to a stop. It'll tell you if it's available or not. Oh, my seatbelt's not on. Okay, whatever. It's telling me it's unavailable, but it, get, it kind of tells you what's the best time for the car to be doing that. So I'm gonna put it back in park. And then um, this is, you can turn that off um, completely, but it does turn on every time you get in the car. So honestly, I've just learned to leave it on. It's not as annoying as I thought. This is your parking brake. So it's just the brake is on and then you to press the brake pedal to release the parking brake. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, she talks. So do that, turn her off and brake hold. So if you come at a red light, for example, or you're stuck in traffic and you don't feel like keeping your foot on the brake, you just press brake hold and that's that. Um, so other than that, these are my cup holders, standard cup holders, nothing too fancy. This is my center console. So, you know, I just keep a bunch of stuff on me. I keep that thing on me. Um, this, <laughs> I use this, this is the little um, key fob thing to get into my house, but, or to get into the gate. Yeah, so this is my dad. So they gave me a um, rewards club. So I, every time I go back to Rick Case Honda in Florida, where I got the car, they give me free gas, so. So yeah, guys, that is beauty. She is literally, that she's the best car that i've had thus far i honestly wouldn't trade her in like i said she is fast she's sporty she's cute and i get a lot of compliments on it and i mean i'm cute so you know a cute girl deserves a cute car but if you guys are in the process of the lighting just made me low bay the sun is going away but anyway if you guys um, are looking to get a new car and you've always wanted to get a Honda Accord or a Honda of any kind, I highly recommend it. Honestly, it's excellent on gas. These cars never go out of style. They're excellent on maintenance. I, like I said, I have over 12,000 miles on the car and I think I've only gotten one oil change. The light don't even come on. Like this car is phenomenal. My only thing is, like I said, there's no keyless entry, which I miss. Um, the sunroof, I don't really miss it, but you know, it was something that I did use frequently in my last car. And the only thing I would say is that the sound system. So the sound system in this car is exactly the same sound system as it was in my Honda Civic, which means it only puts out about 180 watts. Um, so if you're looking for a really big bass experience, you're not going to get that in this car, but it is still an excellent sound system. The speakers don't blow. You can have it all the way on the highest um, volume and the speakers won't blow. You don't got to worry about that or that nasty rattling sound that some cars, you know, end up having. But other than that, 
I genuinely love this car and if you guys enjoyed this car tour make sure you let me know in the comments below I've never done a video like this but I felt like you know you guys deserve to see something new something fresh so it definitely sucks that the Sun okay wait 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 uh, uh, okay period poo. so now that the Sun is back out I do want to close the video out so thank you guys so much for tuning into this video I just want to give a disclaimer next week I'm giving y'all a maintenance vlog. I'm just letting y'all know now. So I have a wedding to prepare for. My cousin's wedding, or I'm flying to New York one week from today. So today is Friday. I'm flying to New York one week for today, from today for my cousin's wedding. I'm so excited. So shout out to you, Jazzy and Greg. So excited that you guys are getting married. Can't wait to celebrate you guys. Celebrate your love. But, you know, before we get to New York, and there goes Mr. Sun. But before we get to New York, I got to get hair done nails done eyebrows done toes done everything done okay okay so next week is going to be a maintenance vlog and then you guys are going to see my new york vlog so if you guys want to see all of that make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you will be notified every single time i post a new video and as i am you know dealing handling the situations that are going on in my personal life I have more energy and more motivation to film so you guys will be seeing more consistent content from me and what else make sure you subscribe please like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you watch my other videos and with all that being said i am karma chris and i am signing out from the back 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 from the back